In 2017, HIP Developments launched the Gaslight District project with a party and invited the whole city. The goal was to give citizens a taste of what a well-programmed urban space could feel like. Part of that special feeling is optimistic community energy that only people can provide. Did Cambridge step up and deliver? It sure did. When's the last time there was 10,000 people in downtown Galt laughing, eating, singing, dancing, just enjoying themselves, where you know every restaurant around there sold out, in fact, sold out twice, where the community energy just came together and lasted far beyond the day of the event. To me, that was a community celebration. And it just shows that if we give the community spots to do that, if we make the investments in urban placemaking, in some programming, the community wants to have fun together. They want to meet strangers. You know, the day in the district was, was one party. You know, the goal for the Gaslight District is to do that always. Cities everywhere are changing as they adjust to the need to be more inclusive and offer a stronger sense of belonging. As a result, parks are changing too. They are becoming more urban, situated, closer to where people want to live. And they are engaging, full of immersive experiences that tell stories about who we are. These spaces that often define a city are a source of positive civic energy. And that's what the Gaslight District is all about growing the optimism and confidence of Cambridge. Gaslight District, that urban square, will be connected to other places in our downtown and along the river. That's rare. That's a real treasure that this city has. And this, this project finally is acknowledging that and providing a, a big sort of connection at one end of the city, one end of the downtown, uh, to the core itself. And, you know, there's no question that the city will get huge value out of that uh, new district. Gaslight Square is not a place you quickly pass through on your way to somewhere else. It is purposely designed for spending time in a relaxed and enjoyable fashion. Consider it an extension of all our backyards in one place. There's living parts of this landscape. There are um, gathering parts of this landscape, there's shaded parts of this landscape, there's interactive, playful parts of this landscape and public realm. It's all designed to be uh, versatile, it's all designed to be diverse. There's going to be something special about this, there's going to be something that feels kind of European about this. And ultimately it's going to siphon you through to this area that ends in this incredible terminus, this, this grand plaza. The Gaslight District has several installations that turn the area into an engaging storybook that make us proud to call Cambridge home. In the Gaslight District, it won't just be the space that brings us all together. It'll be the stories that are told through three very engaging art installations. You know, stories are so important because that's what culture is, the stories we choose to tell about ourselves. On this project, all the art installations focus on the story of the Grand River which is our river. Philip Beasley's living architecture sculpture called Meander was inspired by a canoe trip down the Grand and it tells the story of the beauty and sustainability of nature and it uses science and technology as its canvas. It's important to note that Philip, who is a professor at the School of Architecture, was chosen to create the opening event for this year's Venice Biennale. That piece was inspired by Meander so a bit of Cambridge is now being seen by the world. In the center of the square, we are marking the 1974 flood line with a large interactive game area in which people are the moving pieces. On that flood line, we once came together as a community in crisis. We will now be able to come together along that same landmark to play, dance, and laugh. And finally, we are working with installation artists who have experience in helping people get reacquainted with their natural surroundings. They are creating a special moment where people will be able to playfully say hello to the Grand River. It will become a fun, symbolic ritual that will help us to remember the importance of that landmark. Gaslight is going to become our collective home, where we connect with each other, experience our city's culture, and make friends out of strangers through joyful play. The biggest measure of a city to me is how much fun can I have in that city for free? That's the ball game to me, um, because that's the way to actually have true equality within the community. It shouldn't be how much fun you can have based on how much money you have. 
What's the city offering you? You know, that's going to set the example that a private-public partnership can turn the tap on of community energy. And if we do it right, it's going to spread and people are going to see that a relatively minor investment in urban fun, urban placemaking, is going to lead to an infectious nature across the community to have more fun. The Day in the District events showed the desire that exists in our community for vibrant urban experiences. We've really uncovered the optimism in Cambridge. Gaslight Square's Urban Park gives us the space and tools to continually grow that optimism and joy within Cambridge. We've done it once, let's do it always.